Hello from Gardening at Duenza in Ireland and this video is all about Cattleya forbesi which is this little cutie here I'm holding. So if you fancy trying a species Cattleya on a windowsill I think this is your best bet. There are two reasons why I think Cattleya forbese is a good candidate for a windowsill and for a starter Cattleya in a windowsill. And the first is size. As you can see, it's quite a small plant. So, you know, a lot of the Cattleyas are very big and don't lend themselves well to a windowsill. And the second reason I think this lad is a good candidate is that it's a very easy one, a reliable flower. I've had this particular plant for three and a half years now. I bought it from Burnham Nurseries in the UK. Well, they come to the orchid show at the beginning of the year in April or May in the Botanic Gardens in Dublin. And I ordered this plant from them and bought it, bought it flowering size, and it has flowered reliably ever since. So somewhere between September and January every year it's flowered. One summer it did produce a sheath that just did nothing aborted, let's just say. But um, uh, yeah, so that was my only indication that it was trying to flower more than once a year. But once a year is good enough for me. I'm very proud that this year I have three flowers on my Forbesi. Because before now it's only ever been one. And um, yeah, three flowers, it's good. Nice plant. I grow this one the same as I do all my other Cattleyas. So it goes out into the greenhouse in, uh, in summer and comes back in here again in winter. I pot it in bark, as you can see, and a clay pot and water once a week using the Occurrent Rain Mix as the fertilizer. Now this is a miniature plant, but mine is quite big. And what I did was I kind of squished it into this pot. You can see that I have it in a small pot but it actually wants to be in a slightly bigger pot. And what I did was I bent the rhizome to get it into this smaller pot, which I'm not recommending for anyone to do. But any, in any case, next year when I repot, it needs to go into a bigger, well, a bigger one. In terms of foliage, I have noticed that this plant, its leaves go very, very light green. Now it seems, uh, and it does that when you give it extra light. Now it doesn't seem to do the plant any harm um, because mine is all, always flowered, but I'm always a bit wary that perhaps I'm giving it a bit too much light. Perhaps it needs a bit less light than um, other Cattleyas. Now you can see these new leaves here, which I think have kind of matured since, since the plant has been indoors. Um, compared to the um, the light coloured ones that were even lighter when I had it out in the greenhouse during the summer. It can be quite tricky getting the right kind of pot to show off a plant like this. A little bowl would have been ideal but it's hard to find clay bowls. But if we look behind you can see what I've recently come across. I was lucky enough to get my hands on a couple of these pots here. And I'm not sure what they're made of, but it's something organic. It's, um, yeah, baked. And I think they're just gorgeous. Wonderful. See how super that Cattleya on the left looks in the bowl. I think it looks very well proportioned. And this would be a great um, bowl to have a larger Neo Phoenicia in. It's a bit big for the two that I have at the moment, but they'll grow. They'll grow in time. And the bowl on the right, I just put some paper whites in here, you know, the scented daffodils. And, you know, they're going to scent up the room for Christmas. And then when I, they're finished flowering, I'm going to plant them out in the garden. I'm going to use this bowl next spring to put my Cattleya for Basie in. I think it's going to look super. So that's my Cattleya for Basie in flower. Um, a reliable flower and um, I'm just going to bring you in to have a look at the lip. I think the shape of it is just quite amazing. There's, oh, we're not getting that in, in focus, are we? But um, lovely markings on the inside. And if we follow up, it's really, you know, it's a funny old thing the way it goes around like that. 
and there's a little hole at the back. Yeah, sweet, doughty. Kind of greeny yellowish colour. I've seen four basies that are browner, but mine is yellow. And I've seen ones that are much taller than this plant. Check out um, Orchids and a Duchy. I'm going to give a link to Andrea's video above where she shows her lovely Cattleya forbesi in, in flower. And it's the same species, but it just goes to show that within the species, there's a lot of variation. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. And um, maybe you, if you haven't tried a species Cattleya so far, and you are a windowsill grower like me, you might check out Cattleya forbesi next time you come across it. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.